After finally getting a clockwork mechanism to work last time, I took it apart again and cut away as much as I could to reduce the weight and to try to improve the looks of it because this is going to be on display. This is the centre of the escapement, even it got a shave. I started painting part two, but gave up because the weather's too cold at the moment and nothing dries. I made a new frame for the mechanism too, out of old rusty box iron, and um, painted that to cover it all up. The car stub axles I'm using for bearings are great, but they weigh a lot, so again I cut off what I could. I also cleaned out all the old grease and replaced it with lighter oil, to, so they're less stiff. Then I thought I'd make a new fancier pendulum for it on the lathe. I'm not very good at lathe work, but I really enjoy it, and the only problem is I don't seem to need all that many long round wooden things. Anyway, I finished it and tried it and decided it was too heavy anyway, so it probably will have to turn into a hat stand. Anyway. I made a backing piece for the mechanism and put it all together again and it worked much better than before. Maybe because the paint reduced the friction? I don't know really. Every five minutes it stops and the hook needs lifting up to the next pin. So on the basis that the clockwork bit was still working I got on with the main body of the car. This involved lots of cutting and planing old boards and my homemade panel saw was very useful as usual. I wanted to use 3 8 marine ply but it was just too expensive so I used half inch crappy ply and might regret it because it's heavy and might just fall apart anyway when it rains. We shall see. The geese have been sleeping on this board but it's about the right size for the ridge board. I decided it needed curves in it partly because I like my new bandsaw so much. Still lots of finishing was needed with a spoke shave. It's freezing cold here now, so working in the barn means wearing all the clothes we possess. Perhaps I should have started with the wheels, but I didn't, so I'm using a stack of beehives instead to get to the right height. The whole thing, of course, has to be rigid, so this little piece is vital, and it's going to make a little cupboard in there too. The back has two doors that hinge out to make sides. The plan is they will be supported with a frame which will also hold up a canvas cover. So I made up a few crude steel fittings. I've only recently ventured into metalwork but I know it and it really opened the door to lots of different projects that combine timber and steel. pipes fit into wooden tubes on the doors and can be fixed at whatever height is needed to accommodate rough ground, uneven ground, but of course all Ireland is uneven. Some parts I drew on the computer and used spray mount to temporarily fix them to the ply while I cut them out. These are brackets for the front of the stall. I'm drilling lots of holes to make a really quick decorative rail on the front canopy. It's basically there just to stop customers getting dripped on. Of course, it would have been much easier if Sandra had been around to help. Or anyone. Where were you guys when I needed you? I'm still figuring out how to cover up the bottom half when I pack up for the day and it all goes back up on the trailer. This is the back. The canvas cover will go over the bar and drop down the back. 
Mm. That's the new weight system for the um, clockwork. And I'm just trying it out. I'll show you in a minute. And here's the cupboard space. Shame everything's so dark these days. It's just in the middle of winter. Still so much to do. Anyway, I came up with this new system of powering it. Maybe because there's less friction, I don't know. But anyway, I found that a weight on a pulley would do the job. And this is how it's wound up. Then the cogs are engaged, and the pendulum is put in place, and it all works. That little block is all that's needed now to adjust the speed. If we slide it in, the escapement speeds up, and the donuts should go around faster. And if I slide it out, it slows everything right down. And we still haven't actually fried any donuts lately though, but soon, I hope. The weight at the moment is a bucket of stones, though that will change. And it's all hanging off a pulley and I thought I'd put up a video separately of making that pulley just in case anybody's interested. So now the string hangs off the frame, goes around the pulley, across the back of the cart, probably getting in the way, we'll, we'll find out, and onto the main drive shaft. And we're slowly getting there. It's a bit too slowly to be fun, but it's still a really interesting and, and challenging project. And I just hope it will be finished soon and start making some money. Okay, thanks for watching.